Hello and welcome to the third weekly installment of the new-ish series on this channel, Spotify Skims, where I go through currently my release radar, but possibly in the future, just a given playlist, and I save songs when I'm ready to save them, and I skip songs when I am no not feeling them, when I feel that I'm ready to skip them. Uh, I first listen to the Barbara Streisand song. Generally, I will save a Barbara Streisand song, uh, but not always. Uh, and then the second song, in order, was Stay by the Hallucination and Assorted Artists. And I generally like most songs I get from the Hallucination, so like Barbara Streisand, I generally will save it, um, but not always. But I did end up saving this song. And this song by uh, Grupo Bahia, El Dolor de Mis Ancestros, I ended up skipping because I wasn't feeling it. However, when I was just casually playing uh, songs from my release radar this afternoon, hours later after I took this, I did end up saving it. So sometimes I do go back and, and give longer listens to songs I skipped from my release radar. I just wanted to pop on here and say that. Um, so this is mostly a first impression uh, save. Now, I'm not really sure why I took so long saving this or listening to it because I have that song, Kind of Like on several remixes and I know I love it. So like, why am I wasting my time? I don't know, who knows. And so with songs like this that are upbeat and danceable and on paper should be a fine addition, I sometimes don't like because it feels a bit too generic, a bit too saccharine. So sometimes I take my time in deciding, but I did save that song. I don't always save every shiny song, this being an example of a song I did not save. Um, and then we continue on with more Metallica covers, as we saw last week. This one from Jane Benson I did save. And then Boys to Men, like a lot of 90s classic groups, has put out music consistently and it's always just solid songs to add. So that one I did save. And generally it ends up being, at least at this point, uh, you know, it's looking like a solid save, not save type of list. Pascal Obispo, I haven't really seen that name in a while on my release radar, so that's, you know, a gem. And so I'll probably go back at some point and listen to that Aznavour cover album, but also a group like The Buzz is consistently uh, putting out hits. Yola, generally I'm saving her songs. I loved her whole last album. Maya, you know, um, not the pop songs of the 2000s but more like grown woman sensual songs and i enjoy that from her so also i'm generally saving songs from her as well so a song like this one from imagine dragons and maybe some or most of imagine dragons discography kind of falls along the lines of i like it it's pleasant but it sounds basic am i sure i want to save it uh you know i have to take some time with it but i did end up adding it when I tell you that I saved this song 98% for Farugo, believe me. <laughs> what have you got me saying, Kaylee? You got me saying yes to this song, and generally most of the songs from her that come across my release radar. Um, yeah. No, because really, what is this song? I thought I was gonna get a banger, and I did not. Upset. Another artist I almost always say yes to, yeah. You know what this song is? Vibes, pure vibes. Honestly, Sekai no Owari, it's gonna be a save. Let's stop joking around. Are you ready for the and I'm so sure, I'm so sure that Full Rider and Ina have done a bunch of songs together, but also like another artist who I'm always saving, Ina. And so I was a bit confused because I'm like, I see Sevak. I recognize the name Sevak, but I'm like, is this not Sevak Kanagyan? I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name, but I'm like, I, I, why isn't both names? Why isn't first and last name here? So I had to search up. I was going to try and search up, but you know, I said, you know what? He looks like what I remember and this art and uh, is looking, you know, good. And I didn't think it at the time, but that Okean song, I know I have it saved or I reacted to it. So, you know, I know. 
This might be an unpopular opinion, and I don't know if he's problematic or not, but I actually really like Baby Jake, so yeah. You are honestly kidding yourself if you think there is a Sarah Vaughn song I will not say. And that's all that had to be said. Misha Maisky has literally been on my release radar for at least the past three weeks, if not longer. Uh, I saved the song to my classical, same with this one from Carl Vaughn uh, with the Berlin Philharmonic. So, you know, they both got saved to my classical playlist. I didn't necessarily save either one to my like songs this week, but they, you know, they both got saved. So that's the end of the list. And you can see I saved a majority of the songs just to me this week. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.